owner of Farpoint Farms. And we're going to do a video today, uh, part of a three-part series I'm doing on maintenance on a new uh, tiller that I got. But this one is all about taking off your carburetor and cleaning out the gunk and stuff, getting it running right again, then putting it back together. Part of a spring cleaning if the uh, engine wasn't properly drained over the winter. So the very first step in doing that is to remove the air filter and air filter housing. So let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and take that off. And there we are. I'm going to set this aside. And the next step to removing our carburetor is going to take this metal shield that's here off. Okay. That is a 5 sixteenths on this model. It may change one size up or one size down depending on your year. But they're all very similar. Should be two screws holding this filter housing onto the front of the uh, carburetor itself. Take that loose. Grab my bolt. I'm just going to leave it dangling. That's the vent tube that goes from your cylinder head over to uh, the carburetor to be reburned. We, we don't want to lose that, so I'm going to leave that be. So here's my carburetor. There's some gaskets here. Try to save them. Try not to damage them. If you do damage them or they have to be removed completely, you can use a little uh, silicone sealant. Just let it give it some time to dry and uh, that will replace a lot of these gaskets. If you're careful, if it's not that old a unit, you can usually get away with, uh, with not replacing those. Okay. I'm going to take the fuel line off. And I do believe there's some fuel in here, so we'll kind of tuck it up uh, into place. Okay. There we go. Might dribble a little bit. It's a good idea to get a pan below this. I do not have one set up currently but I probably should. Okay, now you've kind of exposed everything you need to expose. There's your manually operated choke level. Now this was not running very well when I picked it up, but it was running, so I'm sure it's just gummed up. Maybe it needs to have an adjustment. There's only one idle adjustment screw on this model. Some of them have multiple. Um, this one doesn't. So we're going to take it apart, clean out the bowl, clean the jets, put it back together, and most of the time that takes care of the problem. Okay, this one has Torx bits uh, and uh, bolt heads. This would be a 3 8 bolt pattern. I'm going to use the Torx because I have it. It's a T30. I'm going to remove both these bolts. Set those aside so I don't lose them. carefully move this out. And you've got a your throttle linkage there, you have to unhook that. And there's also a little spring. So This has an extension tube for the uh, carburetor itself, so I'm going to remove that, take my other bolt out here, set that aside. And uh, you can see that gasket's on there, okay, so I'm not going to touch that. I'm going to try to leave that alone. Alright, there's my main throttle. Okay, so this is going to have a little fuel in it. This one's pretty well. I ran it until it ran out, so there's not a ton in there. All right, so the next step is you have a, a brass, uh, usually, uh, bolt down here, and you're going to unscrew that. And a lot of times that's your main jet housing that runs up through this thing. Uh, so in here is your bowl, and there will be a float in here with a little needle. We're going to clean all that with a can of uh, carburetor cleaner. Okay, okay so... A little more gas there. Okay. Now remember, try to keep track of all this stuff. But I've got this brass piece, which is a jet. We're going to clean that. 
then I've got a copper washer here. I'm going to set that aside. And then we have our bowl. We're going to take that off, clean that out really well. We're going to clean all this area out with carburetor cleaner. This one's definitely got some corrosion, which I doubt you can see, but the main jet hole there has got a bunch of crud in it and corrosion, and, and I can't fix that. This is pot metal, and it just corrodes. Um, some of these might be screwed in and they're brass. They could be cleaned, they can be fixed, they can be replaced. This one, kind of an all-in-one. Still, I feel that this will run a whole lot better just cleaning all this out. So that is exactly what we're going to do. Um, we're going to take all this stuff and just wash it out over a pan, okay? So give me one second and I'll get that set up. Alright, so I've got this drain pan here and I've cleaned it off the top. I'm actually going to close that. So if any of these little pieces were to get away, they wouldn't go down into the main area. And just like I said, we're going to wash all this stuff out. Usually if there's going to be crud built up, you'll have water that gets stuck at the bottom of these bowls. And they will corrode down there. And uh, that's where you get a lot of your issues. That's where they start from anyway. So we're just going to clean that up. And then we're going to move to our jet here. It's pretty gummed up. I'm going to try to clean all those out. Ooh, that solvent destroys these gloves in a heartbeat. There we go. You can see the pattern coming out the bottom of this. I don't know if it shows up on the camera. But it's come a long way since I started squirting it. Okay, set that aside. And then we're just going to generally clean this whole area. Get the dirt and mud off of it. Okay, so when everything has uh, been cleaned off good, you go ahead and dry all your parts. Well, you want to make sure that your float level right there is still hooked in. That pin can fall out sometimes. We don't want that to happen. Okay. Then we're going to have to make a new gasket because that O-ring there broke. I'm going to use silicone. Well, yeah, RTV silicone. Very small amount. I'm going to put it on my finger like that. And just around this lip. Just gonna paint it real light. That's too thick. Okay. Got this side coated and this side coated. I'm gonna go ahead and lay that on there. And we have our copper washer. And then finally our nut. get that started and then I'll get my wrench and we'll tighten that down. There it is. You can wipe off any excess grease, or I'm sorry, silicone that's gotten around here. Clean that up. Okay, and then we are ready to uh, reinstall. And this is our idle adjust. We'll, we'll play with that if we have to. And uh, choke. Okay, fairly straightforward. Go ahead and reinstall that. There are two Torx bolts. Don't forget to hook back up your, your throttle linkage. Okay. 
away and get that hooked back up and then get this started with your fingers if you can. And you can finish tightening it up with a wrench. Okay, got those two tightened down. You'll do the same thing right here with your filter cover. Get your two smaller bolts. Install my fuel line. And we're ready to install my new air filter and air filter housing. All right, filters in there. Start it up. There we go. Sound pretty good. Um, go ahead and let it run for a little while and let it warm up and uh, we'll call it a day. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe. Uh, this is part of a series of how to maintain your motors. Uh, I hope you'll join me for that and uh, subscribe. Thanks a lot.